I just got called for it. I'm just going to put on the New York Islanders. You know, you know, my team is the Toronto Maple Leafs. I call the New York Islanders a defoliant. And because they wear orange, I call them Agent Orange. Because they take away all the leaves. One of my favorite hockey players of all time is Ty Domi. Ty Domi, number 28. He's the type of dude who is like, hey, Mike, you want to go to dinner? Yeah. Call me. And I'm like... Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> Did I just get invited to dinner, or am I in peril? Is it true when you were growing up, uh, you weren't the funniest in your family? That doesn't sound possible. My, <clears throat> my dad was hilarious. My mom's super eccentric. My brothers are super, super geniuses. And I used to try to be funny. My mom would go, oh, you're not funny, Michael. Oh, <laughs> don't try. It's sad, actually. <laughs> you're making a fool of yourself. All right, all the Myers brothers who are funny, take one step forward. Not so fast, Michael. Do you ever call Colin Quinn and just uh, read off the numbers that uh, Austin Powers did? Uh, he comes in, he always comes up to me. He goes, I just want to tell you something. I am an effing asshole. <laughs> just, let's just, just get that out straight away. You called me, you called me not even once, you called me ten times. I'm an idiot. Stupid so, Colin. Wait, Mike, Mike called Colin for a, a role? He offered him a role. In what movie? Scott? Austin Powers, right? Oh, Initially Scott God. Evil, and then, uh, you know, things happen, <laughs> uh, things happen quickly, and uh, the director, Jay Roach, uh, had a casting session, and he, and he found Seth Green, who I was really, you know, Seth Green's hilarious. Yeah. And, you know, he just brought so much to it. But uh, I had worked with Colin Quinn on Saturday Night Live, and, you know, he's just so funny. You know, he's just a funny yeah. dude, and I just thought it would be great to have... You, you ever meet, like, like, I'm, like, way taller than my dad, you know? And, and I'm not even tall. I'm five seven and a half, though I claim 5'8 on my hockey card. <laughs> you know? And my, you know... I just thought it'd be hilarious to have, you know, a son that was a good three or four feet tall. I think. <laughs> Weighed four times as much. <laughs> He's a big dude. That oh, yeah. That's right hilarious because Colin's a really good friend of the show. He does the show a lot. Yeah. I, I did not know. Oh, I can't wait for him to come it's, back yeah. in here. It's, it's the beauty because Colin criticizes you. He's the most brutal guy I know. And yet he'll always, and it's like, he it refused that, but he accepted Crocodile Dundee 2. The Crocodile Dundee yeah. 2. That's, yeah. that's the good beauty of Colin. Movie. He's made the worst yeah. movie blunders in history. But he's Colin. He's he's so knock on the door and it's the private and Investigator. He was a lovely guy. He goes, I have something I have to show you, Mr. Myers. And it was the last letter that George Harrison ever wrote to anybody. And it was a fan letter. And it was like, Dear Mike, I've been looking all over you for a mini you duel and I can't find one. But I just want to say, love the movies. Now, I had mentioned in an ABC special that that scene in A Hard Day's Night when the helicopter takes off that I cry every time because I. Austin Powers basically I just wanted to make a hard day's night you know? <laughs> and he said I'm sorry I left you that day on the helicopter I promise I won't do it again anyways keep up the good work and I'm like this is the greatest day in my life wow that and yeah. that 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 letter is in like like a, a frame like the Constitution you know <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's bulletproof, and, and and this is one of the miracles. You just can't believe it. I can't believe it's my life, you know. It's just, I don't know how this happened.